Welcome back to the channel guys. My name's Chris and today we're going to look at the Bauer Electrical Box Cutout Saw for your oscillating multi-tool. This might be the newest, easiest way to cut drywall for electrical receptacles and this will run you roughly under $20 and can be used with any multi-oscillating tool. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I've never used this one, pretty excited to see how we can go from cutting terrible holes, because you might not do this every day and you hate to patch that, to perfect rectangular box cutouts. So you know, if you're a starting apprentice or even a master electrician, this is going to save you time in the field. It's going to be pretty beneficial to getting it perfect and right every single time. So let's go test it out. Now before we get started, if we read the fine print on the back, we can see that this specifically states for drywall. Now I want to kick it up a notch later on and see if it'll get through this half inch thick OSB board, because now that's a use case I want to see. But if this is only 20 bucks, this might be a great value. Let's go check it out. So we're going to need to open this up. We'll use the Warrior electric cutting tool. And we honestly do not care how this box ends up. And there we go. So there is what our box cutout tool looks like. You can see that there is a little contour to it. So there probably will be some rocking motion that we'll want to perform there. So we'll go ahead and mount this up and it should fit most multi oscillating tools. As you can see, I have a off brand and well, hopefully it fits. So now on my off brand tool, I can tell you, I did have a little problem trying to get in here and get everything tightened up. As you can see, while I did tighten it down here, so everything did finally fit snug in there. We tightened it up. So we have the electrical box cutout saw installed. We'll go ahead and test it out. So for this test, we're going to use just a standard one and three eighths inch multi-tool plunge blade to get through that rectangular box cutout. Now there's other different blades you could use. Remember this one came in around 31 seconds. So we'll see if this standard blade can beat that time. All right, so we got that completely cut out. The edges are nice and flat. Everything looks really nice and smooth, except for we had a catastrophic problem here. We cut right on the inside of the line, which meant we cut too short. And now any time that we had, we've now lost because we got to go make this hole bigger. So after we got everything double checked, we can go ahead and see if everything fits pretty nice and flush. There you go. We actually have a nice tight flush finish there and we should be able to tighten that up. If we were to put on a electrical switch, you can see that we would have a little gouge mark there and that's about it. So other than that, not too bad. Finished up pretty nicely. Now let's jump back to the Bauer box cutout saw and see how that one lines up and compares. So as you can see, we were able to cut through that. Looks pretty nice and clean. You will want to be aware that when you actually cut through that there's a lot of material in there and it does make a little mess, actually quite a bit more than just the regular multi-oscillating cutoff tool. But let's go ahead and see how 
are cut out compares. So here you can see that everything lines up, it's square, it's true, and it fits right the first time. It means that if you're an apprentice or even a homeowner that does this very infrequently, you're gonna be able to make these very consistent and true so everything is flush, there's no issues saving you time and money, and it's right the first time. Now the last thing I'm really excited to test out is, well this tool says specifically drywall, let's see if it can cut through this half inch OSB board, let's give it a test. So after about two to three minutes worth of trying to get through there, I'm not even halfway through and I can tell you that this is designed for drywall and not for any type of wood material or plywood. It's just not going to be worth your time. This tool is really starting to heat up and I'd stick to drywall only with this. And if you need to, go ahead and cut your rectangle this way. Pretty much each and every time you're gonna get a very nice square. You can go ahead and check and see. And not only is it decent, you know what? We were a little bit faster that time, coming in at 22 seconds, and you'll become more efficient the more you use this. So one last thing I wanna to touch on before we end things here, this is a relatively inexpensive tool, but it works really nice for plunge cuts. So while it does go in past the drywall, it doesn't go too far. So if this was finished construction with insulation behind there, it wouldn't make a large mess of everything. And that's gonna help you keep the structural integrity as well as not disturb the insulation underneath there. Now you could use a more aggressive tool, but look at how this would work. So you can see, while it was a lot faster, it would have just torn apart the insulation on there. So if you were to have everything done without any insulation, it wouldn't be very efficient, but it would definitely be more efficient to use a tool like this. Now, one of my friends, Justin Dow, he's going through a garage remodel and he's gonna show you a couple tools that worked really well for him, as well as a few that didn't. So really appreciate Justin providing that information for us. And we'll go ahead and roll those clips here. If you wanna feel free to check out his channel, there'll be a link up above in the cards, as well as down below in the description. So one thing really interesting here, while the DeWalt is a good multi-oscillating tool, you can see that he's zipping through this material really quickly, and that's because he actually grinds his own teeth into the multi-oscillating blade, which makes them more aggressive, and that's how he's able to get through that drywall without plugging it up. So here you can see he's using a paddle bit to get through the joist here. He's gonna later run wire down through there, and it seems like you always hit something. Framing now. God, what is this? This is the warrior kit. But there's always something in the wall. All right, so there's the nail that we caught. That's what chewed up that warrior bit. Looks like the Bosch held up though pretty good. So really neat information there. You gotta be sure, and you're never gonna know if there's any framing nails inside when you're cutting things because you never know unless you're the one that puts it together. You hit a screw, you hit a nail, these things are gonna definitely get tore up as well as choosing the right auger bits as well as just doing and having a fun job with the things that you do. So again, thanks Justin for that information. So at the end of the day, the Bauer electrical box cutout saw for your multi-oscillating tool actually performed pretty decent. I'd have to say the price point that this comes in 
at $15 currently upon release is an exceptional deal. And it was able to cut through that drywall with ease. And this tool is designed for drywall only. And therefore I can tell you, do not use this or attempt to use this on any kind of wood material because it's just not worth your time. And well, it doesn't work. It isn't stated to work, so you know, there you go. Works really well with drywall. And to me, that's pretty efficient. 15 bucks, you might wanna give it a try. You still have that dust collection issue, which you're gonna have with any type of tool. And for the price, I mean, if you're a homeowner and you don't wanna cut some holes and get super messy and you want it right every single time, this is a great tool. Now, there was another funny review online that said, you know, if there's a safety thing here that this tool won't hurt you, which means basically you could give this to any apprentice out there. They can cut a pretty decent hole any single time and every time, unless, well, their tool dies or, you know, they really shouldn't be apprentice if they can't cut a nice box hole with something like this. Anyways, guys, really appreciate y'all tuning in. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps support the channel, allows us to buy tools and more tools and demonstrate those tools for you guys. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder. We'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.